Hey everyone, my name's Avi, and whether you're waiting for the wipe to happen or you're just starting to play in the middle of one, there's decisions to make and plans to have. This video will have two parts, the IRL preparation part before a wipe happens and the in-game part right after the wipe happens or whenever you just start playing during that wipe. First off, get some comfortable clothes on, make sure your gaming space is cozy, enjoyable and suited for a long gaming session if you want to make the wipe feel more special. I don't want to advocate unhealthy eating habits or behavior but it's an event that happens around every 6 months or so, so get some snacks, some salty ones, some sweet ones to have variety, maybe some drinks or soda that you usually don't get, not too many things, just ones to make the wipe feel special in some way. So don't go too overboard, think of it as kind of a cheat day. Please make sure to follow any dietary and or health plan if given to you by a trained professional and don't listen to some random person on the internet giving you advice on what to eat during a prolonged sedentary activity involving little physical movement other than some sudden exertions of force by hands followed by the uttering of phrases containing advanced vulgar language directed towards certain individuals on a so-called death screen. <laughs> If you have any family or work related things or plans, make sure they know that you won't be available for the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll leave the reasons you tell them up to your imagination. Now onto the in-game things. After you go through the intro screen selecting your faction, face, voice and name, you'll get to the main screen where you're going to need to figure out what map you're going to go to first. On your second level, you should definitely try to unlock Jaeger to start progressing with him early on, but for your first raid, you should mainly focus on getting experience to reach that second level and trying to find some items along the way that will help you with the early quests. The ones you should be looking out for the most are Salewas, Gas Analyzers, Iskras, Rykrutons, Tushankas, and maybe a Taz and Module 3M body armor. There are many resources online to show you what exact items and when you need them, so search on Google since it's too long of a topic for this video. Once you know what items to look out for, onto the map choice. Starting from the bottom of the map, we have Shoreline, which is great if you can survive either going to the resort and looting there, or doing stash runs. But there's usually a lot of cheaters going to Shoreline at the start of the wipe, so that's up to you. Then we have Lighthouse, which has the same cheater problem, but it's easier to get stuff out of since just by going into the camp and killing a couple of rogues, you can get some extremely good armors for early game like the AVS or the the gen 4 and also some cool looking but not that great weapons but since it's early wipe they'll still be very very good then we have reserve which is starting to become very very popular as a first map because you can get good military loot and ammo in all of the buildings and bunkers then there's factory <sighs> just don't go factory after that we have Woods, which is still an amazing map even if you can't get Jaeger on your first level yet, as the two camps on the map still have very very good loot in them and it's pretty easy to survive on. Then we have Customs, which a lot of people have early wipe PTSD from with all of the tasks there, but I think it's still a very very underrated map for just looting, especially with all of its armor repair kit spawns, which a lot of people still don't know about or check very often. Next up is Interchange, which is the map I'm probably going to go to first, so don't get biased by my choice, but I like getting all of the food items that I need for quests that I mentioned earlier on out of the way as early as possible, even though you can get them by just scaving Interchange off cooldown between raids. I like getting them as a PMC because you also get the XP and then you can do Woods and Jaeger stuff. The lab is an interesting option depending on if you get a keycard on your first scavern or not. It's actually not that rare of an occurrence, it's just most people are scared of going to the labs even with a good gear set, not to mention the starting gear you get. If it happened to me, I would go just to have the experience of having your first PMC raid beyond labs, but I understand it's not for everyone. Last, but definitely not least, we have Streets of Tarkov. If nothing changes about streets in the next wipe, then it's just the best map for everything, to be honest. Money making right off the bat, getting any type of item you need, killing lots of scavs for the toss and armor you're going to need. It's just overall a no contest in terms of loot that map has to offer. As I said though, not sure on what's being changed on streets since a new boss has been leaked and that looks to be near the vehicle extract so who knows what changes that will bring to the map we still don't know about. Even though I said streets was the last map, there is actually one more map which should be getting released in patch 14.0, which is Ground Zero. There's still not much known about the map at this point other than some screenshots being shown and some hints of it being a new player location, whatever that means, so depending on its availability, it might be a viable choice because no one will know the map in and out with it being completely new. And because it's Tarkov, the newest map always has the best loot to incentivize players to play it. 
those were some thoughts I had about every map for the start. There is no best or worst map to start with, <coughs> except for Factory. So if you can't decide, just choose the one you're going to be the most comfortable with and know the best, as it leads to my next and final most important tip and mindset, which is surviving and progressing. At the start of the wipe, everyone wants to get everything done the soonest, everyone wants to kill everybody to get their quest the fastest, and so on, but the thing you need to focus on most is surviving. I know it sounds simple, but a lot of people don't really focus on it that much, but if you don't survive, you gain less experience, you lose your stuff, so you lose money with having to buy new stuff, the items that you had in your secure container are no longer found in raids, so if you had an item for a quest, it's useless, and overall you're just setting yourself back. So. If you need to go to any quest area or get some item, just wait for a bit. Even a little moment helps to get you an advantage and crucial information as to what's happening around the area, where people are, and help you a bit more. Just do everything to survive. I know there's many tips to cover in that aspect of increasing your survival rate, and if anyone wants a guide or some specific tips that will make you survive more, I can make a video about that. But most importantly, think about the decisions you make in Raid. And even if you die, don't take it too seriously. I know it can feel like you're losing out or getting left behind, not progressing or whatever. But at the end of the day, Tarkov's still a game, so play how you enjoy playing. And who cares if you get Jaeger's letter now or in a week? If you're not having fun, then it's worthless anyway. So just try to have fun, enjoy Tarkov for what it is, even with its flaws. And thank you so much for watching, I hope that at least something from this video helped you or gave you some idea on what to do. So if you liked the video please leave a like, if you disliked it you can leave a dislike. And if you want to see more videos like this or ones from the wipe, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.